Hi, my name is Samuel. I'm from Zoom, and I'm here at Craft Music to talk about the Zoom R8 and R24 desktop recorders. For great deals on these units, check out the bundles at craftmusic.com. The R8 and the R24 are a couple of things. They're desktop recorders straight to an SD card, they're audio interfaces, and they're also control services for your DAW software. They could also be used as a pad sampler. The R8 and the R24 are extremely similar. Uh, the R8 has two inputs, so you can record two tracks simultaneously, uh, up to eight tracks. The R24 has eight inputs. Um, you can record eight tracks simultaneously, and you can record up to 24 tracks. Other than that, they have identical feature sets, so we're just going to focus on the R24. On the R24, there's a lot to look at, but there's a couple really key things. One is your basic recording function. On the back, you'll find eight XLR TRS inputs. Uh, one can be used as a high Z input, and six of them have phantom power. Your gain knobs are right on top. You can just set your gain, uh, set your meter, make sure your master is always up, and hit the record button. Very simple to start recording with this unit, but there's a lot you can do from there. You can move your tracks around on this unit uh, to open up more uh, phantom power if you need, or to move your guitar around so you can record. There's even two condenser microphones right on the unit if you don't have any external microphones yourself. This unit has a rhythm section. Uh, you can create custom patterns or there's some built-in patterns in there for you to use, as well as a lot of different kits uh, for different sounds. There's a lot of effects on these units as well, amp simulators, reverb, delay, uh, over 140 um, that can be sent and returned uh, digitally in, in the unit. The R24 has two output options. One are the line outputs that you can use to go to monitors. The second is your headphones output. They each have independent volume control, so you can use both at the same time if you wanted. Once you've recorded your files, you can use this unit to put on all of your effects. You could pan, EQ, uh, set all of your levels and create bounce downs right on the unit. Or you could transfer your files to the computer to manipulate with a DAW software, such as Cubase, that's included. You can record 24 tracks on this unit, and seeing all of your tracks is very easy, simply using the three buttons on top to see all of your tracks. When you ch switch tracks, all of your parameters are saved, so you don't have to worry about them being changed just because you're switching. The R24 can run on six AA batteries, the R8 on four. Or you can use the included AC adapter uh, to plug in the back. The R24 and the R8 both can record up to 32 gigabytes on an SD card. There's another member of the R series we don't have with us today, and that's the R16. The R16 doesn't have the rhythm section that these units have, uh, but you can record up to 16 tracks, eight of them simultaneously. So that's the Zoom R8 and R24. Again, for some great deals on these units, check out the bundles at craftmusic.com. I'm Samuel from Zoom. Thanks for watching.